Hello everyone, today we talk about strings. The plan for this video is introduction to strings, operators with string, indexing and slicing, f strings and string formatting. So let's start. We store this uh, string, are you enjoying the video, in queue. And let's say that we are enjoying, yes, I'm enjoying it. This is my answer. And not I use single quotes. And here I'm writing I'm with the contractive form. If I do like this, I get an error, invalid syntax. The issue is that we have to escape here the contractive form. So we use this backslash here. Okay. And now as you can see it works. Another way is to use double quotes instead of single quotes. And as you can see, we don't need the backslash. Let's check the type. And A is a string. Let's put question and answer together. Are you enjoying the video? Backslash N. Yes, I'm enjoying it. If we do like this, as you can see, we print uh, the same uh what we wrote basically but if you use the print function backslash n starts a new line let's move now to operators with strings we glue strings with a star so for example banzai star three basically we repeat banzai three times if we store banzai in b and we right but b times b start three as you can see the same result we replicate banzai three times two or more string liter literals the ones enclosed between quotes next to each other are automatically concatenated for example see i have the first string here ban and then i have zai if i run they are concatenated but we can concatenate a variable and a strict literal. For example, I store ban in B. And now I want to concatenate B and Xi. If I do like this, I get an, an error, invalid syntax. So to concatenate variables or a variable and a literal, use plus. So the same as before, but now we use a plus between B and Xi. And that's it. Now let's move to indexing and slicing. Okay, let's write uh, the name of a football team Juventus. Okay, so team stores Juventus. Remember that Python start indexing from zero. So if you're watching the series about R, you know that R starts indexing from one. This is the big difference between the two. So if we want to extract the first letter, we just use square bracket zero. And as you can see, we started y. With len, we retrieve the length of the object. In uh, team Juventus, we have eight letters. Seven, we retrieve the last letter. So we have eight, but we need seven for the last letter, y because python start indexing from zero so i wrote here zero y one u two v and as you can see seven s so if we write team square bracket seven we retrieve s the last letter so indices may also be negative number numbers start counting from the right so team minus one we retrieve S, so the last letter we are starting from the right. If we do team square brackets minus eight, we get the first letter Y. Now, note that now to retrieve the first letter with negative index, we use minus eight and not minus seven, because when using negative numbers, we start from minus one and not zero, since minus zero is the same as zero. So if you remember here, to extract the last letter S, we use 7. But here, to 
we start at the first letter, we use eight. Because basically, when we start counting from the right, we start from minus one. While when we start counting from the left, we start from zero. Okay. So now let's uh, retrieve more than one letters. So here, team square bracket two column five. This means from position two included to five excluded. So in Python, the last number is always excluded. Okay. So this means that we retrieve these three letters here. So two, three, and four. The letter at positioning five is not included. So if we write like this, without a number before the colon, we mean from the beginning to position five. Again, five is excluded. If we write team square bracket five colon, without indicating a number. This means from position five included to the end. Not the following. So we have team square bracket colon five plus team square bracket five column. If we do like this, we put together the, the complete name. So let's retrieve uh, using the negative index. So minus three column to the end. So from the third last included to the end. So remember, S is minus one, U is minus two, and T is minus three. This means that if we run this code, we get TUS. Now Juventus is the name of the Italian football team. However, it's written with J at place of Y. So let's replace the Y with J. So team square bracket zero, with this we select Y. Let's try to assign J. If we do like this, we get an error. String object does not support item assignment. So Python string cannot be changed, they are immutable. Then how do we modify it? Are we supposed to write the whole string again? So not really. We can create a new one as follows j plus team one to the end we have juventus we can reassign this to team so now team is pointing to juventus with j another solution at the end of the video now let's move to f strings and this is interesting so let's store this uh, string python is awesome now let's write Python is adjective in curly brackets. And as you can see, when we print, we print exactly what we wrote. Python is curly brackets adjective. Now let's create an object adjective that stores awesome. And let's place an F before the string. As you can see, this is the same string as before. Python is curly brackets adjective, but now we have an S, an F. So when we run this, as you can see, Python is awesome. So you see what is happening? Let's make things a little bit more interesting. So uh, we generate a list. List is a topic of the next video. So uh, now we're focusing on, um, on F strings. So we are creating this loop. And again, topic for another video, uh, by the way, if you're watching the R series, basically the logic is the same, exactly the same. So now for I in adjective, so basically awesome, terrific, and amazing, we get this object S with F string. So F Python is curly brackets I. Let's do like this. And as you can see, we have Python is awesome. Python is terrific and Python is amazing. Let's have another example here. We have team, country, and year, uh, Italy, Germany, and 2006. And now we have another F string, team won the World Cup in country in year. We have Italy won the World Cup in Germany in 2006. 
Now let's make things a little bit more complicated. So I'm storing uh, this information in this list. We will discuss this in more details. The next is a little bit tricky. Now let's iterate. Again, we have this the same F string uh, as before. Let's run. We have Italy won the World Cup in Germany in 2006. Spain won the World Cup in South Africa in 2010. Germany won the World Cup in Brazil in 2014. France won the World Cup in Russia in 2018. Interesting, right? Let's move to string formatting. Okay, we have sales 120, price 15, cost 0 0.35. So let's write this string with the price of dollar only brackets, colon, point to F, basically two decimal point here. The total revenue is again the same point. Uh, backslash N, the cost represent, colon, point one percent, so I want only one decimal of the total revenue. Then point format, we have a price for the first one. For the second one, we multiply price and sales, and then we have cost. The, the variable that we generate here. So let's run. Okay, so with a price of $15, two decimals, the total revenue is $1,800, two decimals. The cost represents 35%, one decimal of the total revenue. And now let's store Python in S. Let's capitalize it. Now we have Python with uh, capital P. Let's write Python with a lot of space. So we have this blank space. And then let's remove L strip, left strip. Okay. So as you can see, two the two different output. This Python with blank space corresponds to this one before modification and the second one after modification. So now here we wrote Pythons. Let's remove, remove the right S, okay? Now let's read this string Python comma R comma LaTeX. Let's split the comma. In this return a list, so we have Python, R, and LaTeX. And let's decide also where to split. So we put a comma and a one. So now we have Python, and then we have R and LaTeX together. Hello, everyone. Let's set this title. So we have capital H, capital E. And hello, everyone. Let's put all upper and then let's see again here we generate the Juventus with uh, Y now we with replace we replace Y with J and that's it so that's it for today next topic is list see you in the next video